Before we jump into the four key points of immediate steps that you can take to calibrate your mood for self-protection, to stay rooted in your feminine energy, I wanna go over what I think the biggest factor is when it comes to staying rooted in your feminine energy, and that is making sure you have an expansive, healthy electromagnetic field. You don't hear a lot of people talk about the two, electromagnetic field having anything to do with your feminine energy, but your electromagnetic field, a great analogy that I like to use, if any of you have ever had a hamster, remember those plastic balls that we used to put them in and then they would like run around the house? That's essentially what your electromagnetic field is. It's this protective shield that expands and shrinks based on you. What protects you from feeling attacks. It doesn't mean you're not going to get attacked, but you don't absorb it. It rolls off you. And the way we shrink our electromagnetic fields are bad nutrition, not enough hydration, too much alcohol, you know, connecting with the wrong people socially, feeding our mind toxic shit. So what we want to do to protect our electromagnetic field is starting first thing in the morning. You want to stack the deck in your favor before you walk out your door and enter the world. This is going to expand your electromagnetic field immediately. And all four of these things only take one minute. So this is something that you should be incorporating every freaking day. Small changes make big changes. The smaller the goal, the more attainable it is. So key point number one that you can do to expand your electromagnetic field to stay rooted in your feminine energy is to start your day with a warm glass of lemon water. Yes, it has to be warm, only water, only lemon. I'm gonna show you exactly what I do because like I say, start small, that way you will do it. I only fill my glass up halfway and I know you might think, oh God, this is so stupid. The problem is we complicate healing. We are the ones that think it needs to be this big task that's outside of ourselves. And I have tested this. I don't just feed you guys what I read. I have to literally test it on myself and see the results before I will create a video out of it. So this is the reason why you wanna do warm lemon water number one when you very first wake up obviously water nourishes your body but when you send warm lemon water and that's the first thing that hits your liver you are immediately detoxing your liver you're promoting it to release toxins and the reason why we're doing warm water is because warm water stimulates digestion and like I said, I just do a really tiny amount, half a cup, just to make sure I drink the whole thing and I make it really strong. And I am telling you, I have been doing this. It is an unbelievable amount of energy that you have out the gate. I can't stress enough how important our mornings are. They set the tone of our day. So you wanna stack the deck with as many things as possible. These things take one minute. So there's no excuse not to do that. So that is the first thing you need to do. The second thing you could do every morning that will take one minute to expand your electromagnetic field, which will keep your vibration high, which will keep you rooted in your feminine energy, is to move your body. But it is not just any movement. You need to roll out with a foam roller, and there is a specific reason why. We need to break up the fascia. The fascia if you guys don't know, is essentially the same thing as when you peel an orange, it has that like white webbing around it. We have essentially the same thing that wraps around our muscles. It's a fiber. The fascia forms a three dimensional web that surrounds the body and emotional stress causes it to tighten. It tightens like a vice. And that's why sometimes you just feel like, oh, your shoulders are curved in. You have pains, your back hurts. It's because you are holding so much stress trapping the emotional energy and holding it in place. The fascia actually has like little sensory receptors that respond to stimuli. So what this has to do with your feminine energy is this is the kind of stuff that makes you edgy. This is the kind of stuff that makes us bitchy and reactive. It'll keep you in a reactive state because you're tense. So if you want to stay in your feminine energy, it is imperative 
that you roll out so if anything if you want to stay rooted in your feminine energy these are two simple things that you could start your day with they each take one minute like i say you want to wake up start stacking the deck in your favor so that by the time you walk out that door you are armed with your electromagnetic field that's like this big your hamster ball is huge <laughs> okay you guys all right guys so the third thing that you can do to stay rooted in your femininity to expand your electromagnetic field and raise your vibration is standing guard on the doorway of your mind first thing in the morning. Be particular about what you're feeding your mind. I know sometimes we like to open up our feeds and start scrolling. This is why I have made separate Instagram accounts. Every single feed is so different because when you start a new account, you get a clean slate. The algorithm doesn't know who you are, what you are, what you like. Do this. Do not add anyone or anything that you have in your main account. Clean the feed. I have one feed that is all tech nerds and it is the funniest feed ever. I have another one that's just poetry. And be careful, keep these feeds clean. The minute you, you click on something gossipy, the algorithm is gonna pick that up and start feeding you the same toxic shit. It's the same way our minds work. That's why our thoughts are so imperative to our mental health. We need to start being intentional about what we feed our mind so that we can control our thought patterns. So many of what we feed our mind in the morning is what sends us down a rabbit hole of thinking we're not good enough, thinking we're not getting enough done. Whatever the thought patterns are that it kicks in shrinks our electromagnetic field. So it's imperative that you listen to music, poetry, motivational videos. The way you start your day is so important. You have got to stand guard on the doorway of your mind if you wanna stay rooted in your feminine energy. And the fourth key point that you can do to stay rooted in your feminine energy, expand your electromagnetic field and raise your vibration every day that only takes one minute is to keep your mornings quiet. Don't jump on any phone calls. Whatever you do, as long as you can keep the morning quiet before all the noise of the world comes in, the better your day is going to be because you're stabilizing your energy. You're not absorbing any energy. The problem with energy and conversations these days is there's not a lot of reciprocity. We have a lot of energy dumpers and we have a lot of energy suckers. Very few people are here to inspire that we cross paths with every day. You know what I mean? Not a lot of people are handing over knowledge and wisdom and inspiration these days. So what I do now, it's actually, this is gonna be a shameless plug because I wanna start promoting what I've been working on. It's something called Soul Sync Sessions. All it says is faith is the only armor I need. And it repeats that, think about it. Faith is the only armor I need. Welcome to your five minute daily soul sync session. Faith is the only armor I need. Faith is the only armor I need. So you can build a new bridge or you can continue down the same old path and every day is the new opportunity to step into a better version of yourself. But you can only do that if you stand guard on the doorway of your mind, which begins with your thought pattern. So if you do all four of these things in the morning that each take one minute, I'm telling you, this will keep you rooted in your feminine energy until you get kicked out of it, obviously. <laughs> We're not superheroes here. The world has gotten quite aggressive, but so just remember you guys, anytime you're feeling anxious, depressed, or edgy, your electromagnetic field has shrunk. It is tightening on you. Get quiet, stop absorbing energy. This is just really easy things that are so simple. We don't need as much therapy as we think we need. We don't need all these doctors. All you guys have to do is arm yourself with information. Arm yourself with information and you can become your own doctor. No one knows how you feel as much as you do. Small things become big things. You start small, you build, and you will transform your life. So to wrap it all up, you essentially just need to keep your hamster ball really big and keep your orange peel peeled. <laughs> okay, you guys, hopefully some of that was helpful. I'm Angela Jean. I'm back every Wednesday. I do post my Instagram account every day if you guys want to check me out over there. As far as the Soul Sync sessions that I mentioned, they are in the description box below. They are linked. I actually suggest that you guys do a 30-day mental reboot. I would love it 
if you guys would do 30 days in a row and just watch how your life transforms because everything starts with the thought everything the thoughts become the words become the actions and those become the bridges to the life that we're experiencing so check out my soul sync sessions check out my soul sync sessions in the link below and i'll see you guys next wednesday i need faith is the only armor i need faith